I'm sure we've all heard of ChatGPT by now, an AI so smart that it passed the bar exam. How does that make you feel? Really sad and scared. It takes years of dedication, technique, experience, repetition to ascend in the culinary world. And apparently AI can write a recipe in less than 10 seconds, so that's great. So today I'll be asking AI to write three of its best recipes and we'll go head to head in a classic battle of man versus machine. I've dedicated my entire life to bringing you the greatest recipes that I possibly can. If AI wins, then I guess I'm out of a job? So let's do this, shall we? We're all here to see what ChatGPT can do. Let's ask it some questions. Are you sentient? No, okay, cool. I already know what recipes I'm making and I'm not gonna change them. We're now gonna ask ChatGPT to make its best version of each of those. So first, give me your best burger recipe. We really went straight from are you sentient to let me have your best burger recipe. <laughs> you know, I really was expecting homemade burger buns. I said best, not your most half-assed. Let's also get your best bun recipe. Looks underhydrated. guess we'll find out. Next recipe, your best fried chicken recipe. Um, not much. I mean, it looks like a fried chicken recipe. Okay, last recipe, your best chocolate chip cookie recipe. Now, the one that I'm doing is from my cookbook, so link in the description for that. Let's see what ChatGPT has. Mm, this looks eerily similar to mine, but a lot more flour. We got our recipes, and we have a little bit of the idea that AI wants to consume us, but that being said, let's make this, shall we? Obviously, AI doesn't have arms or legs, so we have Willie here to represent the AI. But first, we need him in a robot costume. That's better. To judge, there will be a panel of three blind taste testers, all of which are very cute. But there's a catch. There is no best two out of three. This is sudden death every single round. If I lose even a single one, it's game over. So let's begin. Round one, burgers. We're gonna make homemade buns. Make your milkies warm. Damn, all of a sudden I feel this attraction. You come here often? Milk and water. So to that, I'm gonna add my yeast, egg yolk, whole egg. Give it a brief mix. We're gonna add our flour, sugar, salt, our rough dough, butter going in intermittently, and let her go. Wow. That's just a normal Friday night for me. All right, nice and smooth. Grease it up, warm it into a nice ball. Cover this with plastic wrap and let it rise. The robot buns. Water, yeast. Whiskey, whiskey. Sugar. We're gonna add the salt. Ah! And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt. <laughs> and we're just gonna stream that flour in. You're my hot little mommy. Look at you spin. Get that little massage while you dance. I like the way you dance for me. Add the butter. Why are you not wearing shoes? You never used to wear underwear on the line. I still don't. Dough's done. AI's finest dough. Now we let them rise for about an hour and we'll come back. Dough is proofed. You got a little bit of flour. Spink a little bit in there. Gently press our dough down. Pop it out onto your counter. I'm gonna divide it by 80 to 90 gram pieces. What does your recipe say? Divide into four. I feel like these buns are gonna be huge. Roll it into balls. The AI's rolling his into gigantic balls. <laughs> How are you feeling right now, Willie? It's hot and these balls are huge. You all right? Give these a little spritz of oil and I'm gonna lightly press them down just so that they get a little bit more rounded. Oh the, my God, I was wrong. It's eight equal portions. Human error. You tried to blame AI. God. They still look a little too big, but we'll see. Now we let these proof. All right, my buns are done. Let's see what this dry towel technique has done for me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna brush these guys with a little bit of egg wash. You wanna coat the whole bun. That's how you get that good browning. Now we go into the oven. We're gonna make the sauce. Apparently AI doesn't. AI does not have a burger sauce, but it does have what, mayo, mustard, ketchup? Just not put together in a bowl. Mine starts with a little bit of onion. Cut her up, the onion in. So that's gonna get some color. Give them a little bit of salt. Stir those up. Now I make the sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise. Creamy. Ketchup in. Now we've got our yellow mustard. Grated garlic. Little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Of course, our onion, which has been charred nicely. Salt to taste. Black pepper. Comedically large whisk. Perfect. Now we make the burger. Buns, it looks too bad. Mmm. It's actually not bad. It's a little dense, but I like it. Now, obviously, as usual, you brush them with butter. Or don't. Up to you. So I've got some prime chuck roast here. We'll cut that bad boy into manageable pieces. Throw them in my grinder. But I got a little secret. Sure, you could put the bacon on the burger, but doesn't it make more sense to just put the bacon in the ground beef? All right, and that's my ground beef done. Willie, what do you have? I'm doing smash patties. Is yours a smash? It just says to split mine equally into four parts, so... I don't even know what to do. Right now. Did you season it with the seasoning? Yes, I did. Can you tell? Oh wait, no, no because it's one teaspoon. Does it not say to toast your buns? Nope. 
What's going on, natural? All right, I'm gonna toast my buns. Got yeah, 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 that's a good bun. Ow! Spray the bottom of a burger press. Got myself a patty right in the center. Got that nice sizzle. Smashify it. Oh my God, it's stuck really bad. I gotta start over. Dude, human error. Sucks to suck, bro. There we go. Salt, pep, let her get her color. I sling burgers for a living. This just goes against everything I believe in. Add a little bit of sauce to my bottom bun and my top bun. Spread mayonnaise on the top and bottom buns. Spread mustard and ketchup on the bottom bun. Lettuce and tomato on the bottom bun. A new technique I've never seen before. Pickles bottom bun, patty one done. I cannot get this crab single open. Ah! Seems like a medium rare cook to me. I'm done. I present to you the McNasty. Mm -hmm. If you're watching your salt intake, this is the burger for you. All right, patty going on. And then my top bun. And now we taste test. I feel tomato. Hmm. Am I holding it right? Ah. Uh -huh. A lot of flavors going on. Really good burger. I enjoyed it. The blend goes hard. There's no way we all just have the same burger. There was not a single flavor other than like a tinge of ketchup. There was no salt. There was nothing. Really? I did not hate it, but I also can see how it could be elevated. I'm not gonna act like that was the best burger I've ever eaten. Mine has a lot of flavor. Pretty good. Moving on to the next. Oh. That's what flavor is oh, supposed to taste like. Yeah, it's way better. Oh, this just went from like the other one times 10 with flavor. Yeah, because the other one didn't have any. The last one was good because I was hungry. This one's good because it's good, all right? Damn, yeah, roller coaster in my mouth even after I already swallowed. Harry, right, which one are you voting for? This one. Doses and mimosas. I'm gonna go with this one. I got the party in my mouth. That's in the bag, moving on to round two. Fried chicken. I feel pretty confident about this. We're using my Jollibee recipe. That's on the line. What's your recipe say? In a separate bowl, combine flour, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, and mix well. It doesn't say anything about a whisk. What am I supposed to mix with? My robot hands? Is that what I'm supposed to mix with? So marinade first, buttermilk in MSG, which is an unfair advantage. The AI could have picked MSG and it didn't. Yeah, it chose to pick buttermilk and hot sauce. That was it? All nope. the seasoning is in the dredge. Oh boy. You can just consider all those spices burnt AF. AI, more like, hey, why did you do that? All right, I got soy sauce, white pepper, and coriander. Robo whisk. Mix my dip flour in. And I got onion powder, garlic powder, dried thyme. That's gonna burn really nice. What else are we gonna burn here? Oh, paprika. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, a little bit of salty. Oh, cayenne. So in a mix, the flour dredge, and that's done. I've got chicken thighs and legs. You've got a whole chicken cut up. I'm putting mine in the marinade. Mix it up nice, get all them juices in there. Now we dredge our chicken. So you've seen my technique before. I flick a little bit of wet flour in there, kind of mix it around to get those clumps. Clump. Does yours have a clumping technique or no? It just says to dredge it and shake the excess. Right. What if I didn't know what dredging meant? I'm dredging ever doing this again. I can't lose the AI, I just can't. All right, it's fry time. We got our fry station, it's 350 degrees. Uh, let's go. Oh, I touched the oil, good Lord. AI didn't tell me to do that. Mine smells like oil. Yours smells like flavor. We're gonna fry this for like anywhere between three to six minutes. Mine says 12 to 15. I usually just do it by eye. I honestly have no idea how long it takes to fry chicken. Yeah, I just do it by AI. Chicken done, chicken done. I wanna have some crispy. My chicken's done. Just to finish, I'm adding just a tiny bit of salt on the outside and I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh pepper. See, I'm not allowed to season. No salt. No, nothing. Now we taste and decide our winner. Two plates of chicken. Please take one piece of chicken per person per plate. Like the crunch. It's good. Undersalted. Definitely need salt. Any seasoning no whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, any seasoning. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for the next one. I'll drop the leg on this one. Wow. Oh my God. Definitely has a flavor. I don't know what the seasoning is, but God damn, it's good. How about number two? Number two, easy. Hmm, here's my thing. This is good chicken. I know this is Josh's. I think the first one was cooked well, but like that's technique. That's not even yeah. recipe, you know? So that can't go to the AI. But I don't know if I want to vote for Josh. I'll be fair. I'll be unbiased. I'm voting for two. Let's go! Purely because of salt. That's it. Nothing else. Woo! Okay, we're safe. Now, the next recipe is a very special one. It's my famous chocolate chip cookie recipe from the cookbook. A lot of people love it. I love it. We lose this one. First off, it's a total loss. And second off, it's an extremely sad day for me because people paid for, for that recipe. We did accidentally use salted butter when we prepped it, so we'll see how this goes because I'm worried about it being too salty. Already been at a disadvantage, but I still feel good. 
So mine has rough chopped chocolate. You can do a mix of dark and milk. So I'm gonna be creaming over here. And by that, I mean I'm gonna be mixing my sugar and my butter. <laughs> Sugar's in. Oh my in. God, why do these not stay in? All right, so I mixed my sugar together. I had my melted butter in. You're losing, Willie. To my butter sugar mixture, I'm adding my egg, one whole egg. That gets beaten in. Yeah, it's going really well for you. Looking nice and emulsified. Oh yeah. To that, I'm gonna add some salt, vanilla extract. That goes in. Add in my flour. Now I'm gonna take one. One egg and one whole egg yolk. Plop that in there. Vanilla extract. Uh, it looks awful. Yours looks like baby diarrhea. Shut up. Chocolate and then just fold that together. It's gonna look pretty loose because of the immense amount of butter. That's exactly why I have to chill mine overnight. We already have a swap, which Willie put salted butter in, which probably ruined it, but who knows? Mixing flour in now. Why'd you only put a tiny bit of the chocolate chips? I was gonna put the chocolate chips in after and I accidentally put some in before. We're just gonna pretend like I didn't do that. Oh. oh my god. I'm gonna add this. Did you add your salt? There's no salt in that, I don't think. <laughs> You're supposed to be representing AI. They're gonna come kill you in your sleep. What is that face? I just realized that I forgot to put baking powder in mine. Now we're gonna let this chill. My cookie dough is rested. Scoop it out. Look at these little guys. Yet again, the AI is winning in speed, but not in quality. Into the oven, they go. Da -da 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 cookies are done. So here's my cookies. Oh yeah. And then um, AIs. Looking oh. good, AI. Oh my God. All right, time for the taste test. Wait, uh, where's Pano? I guess Vikram's gonna do it. Big problem because he doesn't like dark chocolate. I don't know why they're doing this to me. You got the salted butter, you got the dark chocolate. Why are you doing this to me? Please. It all comes down to this. And my ego's on the line. And also all of humanity. What's up, guys? What's up? Okay. You're blindfolded because they look very different. Mm, great chew. I hate like super crunchy, too chewy. This is a good in the middle. Very chocolatey. I can go to sleep now. I'm ready. Too crunchy for me. Okay, the cookie that I got isn't that dry. I can't tell if I'm eating a cookie or a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was kind of like crusty around the edges. It's not like fully baked through. It takes a little bit of chocolate. It's not a bad cookie. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the first one. I'm gonna be honest, I think I prefer this cookie over the other one. The one that I have is like really, really soft in the middle. It kind of feels like I'm chewing through a cloud. It's all down to Ulysses. It's not a good cookie. So the first one? The first one for sure. Yes! Let's go! I knew it! There's an important lesson here though. Although we won, it wasn't exactly a unanimous win. There was a little bit of thought, a little bit of hesitation, which means that AI is on its way. It's scary. But you know what? For now, humanity wins. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and that cookbook's down in that link. Go on, get it. It's a goddamn New York Times bestseller. It's lit.